Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Guess who it is? It's Crafty Crochet Bee. <laughs> <laughs> so lately, uh, I purchased a knitting machine. It's not an Addy, not yet. Uh, but I showed it on another video and I've been struggling with it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's a bit of a learning curve. And so I'm sitting there and I've been doing my little thing. And it's and really hard for you to crank. You find it really yeah, hard. Yeah, like trying to crank that is just in, insane. So I did order a an attachment for it for a drill, but it's not here yet. And so Crochet B was sitting there saying, Watching hey. your struggle. Yeah, <laughs> saying, hey, you know. I got these <laughs> and uh, so why don't I use them and help you out? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so the, from my perspective, Sandy's always crocheting hours and hours and hours. She's always going nonstop uh, so that we can go in the one or two or three, whatever many craft fairs we get in. And that's when I'm able to help. I'm able to sell her stuff and, and, and do the crochet bee thing. But I've always felt really bad that, that she <laughs> does all the grunt work. And, um, and I only help her, help her with that. And, she, and you know, we had a bit of a, a rude awakening at this last craft fair. We went to the Super Bowl of craft fairs where we thought we had all the stock we would ever need. And holy <laughs> crap, did we sell a lot of stuff. So... If we would have had a regular oh. craft fair season, like we're hoping to have next year, I'd Every like to do... Every time we do a video, he's always yelling. He oh, forgets sorry. he has a mic I'd on. I'd like to do at least four <laughs> or more craft fairs next year, but uh, we're going to need stock. So um, I saw her yeah. with... So one of the problems I have is I'm never going to be able to crochet um, <laughs> because I, I got these. So no crochet hook can fit inside these gigantic hands that I have that are made for smashing rocks and you know shovels and axes and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. but I saw her I saw her cranking and really struggling and I thought well Jesus I can sit there and do that um, so I figured while I'm watching football I could maybe crank out a couple of hats or whatever so we tried it the other day and uh, who knew I'm a, I'm a human hat making cranking machine. He made a so, I, so I just sat there and just whipped these suckers out oh. like nothing. And then I, I give it to Sandy to do all of the delicate stuff like uh, I'm doing the sewing part and we're going to put pom poms on them and our labels on them. But I want to show you, we're going to show you uh, some of the hats that I've made in the last day or so. Mm -hmm. And you'll get a bit of an idea of how, and I can't believe how nice they look and and how well they, they turned out. And I'm pretty excited about having my own line of crochet bee hats at the, uh, at the craft fair. I want to get little labels to say cro crochet bee Canada, <laughs> but she won't let me because she's trademark crochet A. So, well, um, you know, it, I mean, it's kind of funny because I struggled so much with this stupid machine and he comes along and makes it look bloody easy. Well, I, I fudged a couple and <laughs> yeah, we're still learning how to use it. And yeah. we were having a bit of an issue last night. I think we might have solved it because the last one turned out good. I took the whole machine apart. I unscrewed the whole thing, made sure all the pegs were right. And then after that, you know, he figured out that the button on the side that does panels and, and rounds was kind of up a little bit, so it could have been a combination of, of a couple well, of as things. Well, as soon as we popped it down into position, it seemed to work a yeah. lot better after that. So, but We yeah. forgot to uh, tell you our sponsor, oh. um, <laughs> what's in our cup. So in my case, sadly, only ginger ale, because I don't have any whiskey at the moment. Um, <laughs> Sandy has her special Christmas Coke, um, <laughs> special recipe from our good friend, Sandy Duda who told her how to make a root beer flavored, really alcohol fueled, whatever that really helps with Sandy's creative side. Yeah, so, it's pretty strong. <laughs> so anyway. But it's really good. But look, I figured that that was like appropriate. <laughs> I got this beautiful mug from a, a yarn of bee. 
I just love this mug. So I'm gonna we're gonna show you some of the hats that I that I made. Which one was the first one? So this was, was the this, first one. Was that the first which one? Which was, was is a teal blue, just a single color. Oh yeah, because that's the one that you had your single color yarn, and we showed a picture uh, I think already on uh, on the Crochet <laughs> A Facebook page of this hat. Yeah. Um, and then we decided to get remember. really creative. I don't remember. And which one um, was next. Well, was we'll just kind of show. No, it was this one. This one was. And second. then this was the second one we did where we combined two different colors. So we had the cream colored yarn and then the, the black yarn uh, for the brim. So Listen again, and we're going to we're gonna put a pom-pom on, a cool looking pom-pom in our, one of our crochet A labels. Mm. And you can just imagine that sitting on one of our, our foam heads. It's going to look really smart and I'm going to sell them for like $100 each. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're thinking... 25 they're actually really they're very thick and mm -hmm. really warm so um so yeah i think they look like really nice quality people are going to feel them and actually really like them i'm shocked at how well these have turned out i made a couple and he was he was sitting there thinking that they were going to be like thin china i thought they're going to look like crappy walmart hats that are like paper yeah. thin and stuff but these are <laughs> like this, shocked. this is a substantial hat there's a real hat in there yes. like it would actually work in actual cooled weather and stuff which we don't have here on the island that's against the yeah. bylaw well, it's okay probably so coming. then we decided to get really creative and we went with the this is the variegated very i'm speaking yardage i'm speaking yarn uh, the variegated yarn <laughs> <laughs> and we got all of these. Look at these lovely colors. Isn't this nice? <laughs> With the black brim. So um, we don't have our pom poms yet. We're wait. We got a shipment of pom poms coming. Yeah. Uh, from the slow boat from China, I think. Yeah. So probably in one of those containers that are floating around. We had forty containers spill out <laughs> into the ocean <laughs> off the coast of the island. So it's probably floating in one of the containers out yeah. there. Yeah. So there's that one. Um, Th this is actually um, cookie yarn from Hobie. So I wanted to, you know, see if the cookie yarn would actually work. And because it's a thinner yarn, it's a three weight, well, thin four, maybe. And it works perfectly. Like it went like gangbusters. There was no sticking. There nope. was no nothing. It was, nope. it just, it wound like really well. So I really like this hat. Where's the one that I made for you? You've got it in your hand. Oh, this oh, this is the one that Sandy stole. Um, <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. That was the why. first one that I did that was multicolored uh, yarn, and she was so impressed with it and, and loved it so much that now she stole it. Well, everybody on this channel knows that this is my favorite color. If she stole it, we can't sold it. That's the problem. <laughs> but I'll have to, I'll have to make another couple of these because <laughs> this one actually came out really. Really, really it's nice. Look at the hat. colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sandy's going to put it on. Yep. Of course, every hat looks good on Sandy. Sandy could be a professional hat model, I think. I Because like they all, they all come out nice? really nice. I, I really, really, really like it. And then it's, we're always so getting nice. asked for red, black, and white hats for every kind yeah. of hat that we made. So then I made just a, just a plain red one as well. Um, is this all of them here? Mm-hmm. And then the last one that we made was, was this guy, which I think is really quite nice. Again, with multicolors, nice and thick, nice white brim. So this was all done mostly yesterday. There's three football games. I can make four hats during a football game, one in the first half, one in the second half. So I've kind of got it uh, figured out. We're still kind of fine-tuning it, but I think we cranked them out pretty good there yesterday. I so, feel like, uh, what the heck's that Canadian... Those those two guys that drink beer. Bob and Doug. Bob and Doug. From Mackenzie. <laughs> Mackenzie. Yeah. And Why? Because I'm, 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 I'm sitting here in a toque. I mean, yeah, eh? I'm a Canada, toque. eh? I'm a toque. Eh? I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a toque, but you know, and I have my drink and. So anyway, so there's a game on tonight. So we'll uh, <laughs> we'll make, mix some more. We got one. Mm -mm, oh oh mm -mm. oh! Then mm -mm. the mm -mm. last one that we made actually last night. Uh, this, my, this I, I made it seeing. and this is my blissmas hat so look at this one santa <laughs> claus theme double pom-poms we, we have a couple pom-poms so she put it on 
said having one in the middle, she put two on the end, so she'll do yeah. like her Santa Claus. Yeah. Uh, I'm, this is going to be my Blissmas hat. So I guess so. you'll be seeing a lot of this when she's doing her her Blissmas uh, yes. video. So yeah, look at that, eh? Isn't that great? <laughs> so then I came home today and I found out that Sandy went yarn shopping for me. So I've got my uh, my very first <laughs> yarn stash. So I got some supplies to make more hats. So the yep. goal is, um, obviously we're busy with work and dashing and, and everything else, but um, I don't, uh, it gets dark here by five, six o'clock yeah. and I don't really like the door dash when it's dark. It's really hard to see. So I'll be home relatively early uh, most nights. I figure I could get maybe one or two hats done then a night. Um, and it would be nice to have like 50 or 100 hats made uh, <laughs> for next year's craft fair season. He's totally addicted. So that, uh, totally. well, He's addicted, they've come man. out way nicer than I thought. I would just like to have the stock <laughs> because, um, you know, if we're going to go in this same, same uh, craft fair yeah. next year and we saw how much we sold, uh, we're hoping to get in. There's a three-day one in Qualicum. If we could get into that mm -hmm. one, which is two weeks yeah. after that, that one's also supposed to be really good. I could just see him at the crafter. So, He's going to be like, I made these. Yeah, these are genuine <laughs> crochet B hats. You might have bought, and even our previous customers that have a crochet A hat don't have a yeah. crochet B hat. Well, you know what? I got a message from Joanne, you know, the Joanne that we gave all the yarn oh, to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants a purple one from you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> just saying special orders yep. <laughs> so <laughs> i just cranked a thing i don't know yeah nobody's so. more surprised than me to see what comes out at the end <laughs> it's it's like magic i just put the yarn in and then, whoa look <laughs> he's just he's totally addicted you should have seen him he was just like a kid in a candy store. It was great. It's like, oh, what color should we put together now? <laughs> he's just cranking away, watching his football. And he's like, okay, let's make another. I'm saying trying to put it together. And he's like, okay, set me up for the next one. Well, I'm, I'm just like, trying oh to be God. efficient, right? So, Like I created a monster. <laughs> well, Sandy's all about, about uh, the creativity and the art aspect. I'm all about production. Yeah. <laughs> Let's crank yeah, these suckers out. This is perfect out. for him. Let's go, 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 sell, sell, yeah. sell. If I can make a hundred hats between now and next year and sell them all for twenty five bucks a hat, it's twenty five hundred dollars. So. Well, he's gonna be like a complete monster when that attachment comes, and he can actually use a drill. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm actually a little nervous about using something I automated. Know. I've I've heard good things. Well, so. we'll try it. Yeah. Um, if we're, if we're using a machine, then it, it just takes the art out of it. Because <laughs> the art the art is all, is how you crank. Oh, it's all my. in the crankage, right? Listen to him. So, you know, I have to say, though, I am so proud of him. Because now, like all these years, I've been sitting there crocheting beside him. He watches TV. I've it's got my, my headphones on. I'm watching videos. And I'm crocheting and creating stuff. And I go, hey, look. And he's like, oh, that's nice. You know, but there's no real connection there. Now he's doing it with me. So now we've got this bridge of crochet, right? Where we can meet. Excuse on... me, I'm a knitter. Oh, <laughs> oh listen. Oh, Madonna. <laughs> she's, she's on the crochet side. I'm on oh, the knitting. She's snap. the crochet division. I'm the knitting division. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to this. Oh, we're in trouble now. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, but yeah, like, so now it's, it, we're able to enjoy it together. You know, which I never in a million years thought would ever happen. You never thought you'd ever have a man that would do craft fairs with you. Well, yeah. She was so astonished when we first met um, that I actually wanted to go to and do the craft fairs with yeah. her. And, I, and honestly, most of the time, if it wasn't for me, I don't think she would do them. I'm the one that drags yeah. her ass out of the house he and gets her to it. do the craft because she does yeah. all the work. Yeah. There's no point in doing all the work if you're not going to actually sell the hats. Then you end up with what we had the last two years, a house <laughs> full of friggin' totes yeah. everywhere. 
he so, he really enjoys being out and talking to the people and I know, like selling them and he, they're a, yeah. they're really well made. People really like them. Mm. We've had so many people that came up to us at this craft fair that had been longtime customers from years past that knew us, remembered us, yeah. told oh, us yeah. about the how much they love the hat or their daughter still loves the hat. So yeah. we are actually creating a bit of a legacy yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, which is nice, but we've only kind of tipped our toe a little bit into the craft fair thing. We've only done some of the school ones. This was the first really big one yeah. that we've ever done. We've always been afraid, like, you know, but this one was only $200 for well, a cable. Well, you weren't afraid. You no. were going I've been bugging for her it. for years. Like, I... we got to, let's go big or go home. Like, yeah, let's make some is, stuff. Is like and... Trying to create that much stuff. It's like, easy. I just crank them out. But see, that's the thing. It's like, I'm doing this all by hand, right? Me too. So... This hand is cranking. <laughs> Before that. And now this right? this arm is going to be like three times bigger than this <laughs> arm. I'd be walking around like this. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, hello. <Oops. laughs> but, you know, it's like I had to do all this by hand. So for me to do a four-day craft fair that's going to be so busy... It scared the crap out of me because I've already started getting arthritis in my hands. I get the pains down here. Um, lately, I've developed a tendonitis. Uh, so I'm thinking, oh my God, I can't produce that much to prepare us for something that big. Now, we've got this machine that's been around forever and I kind of, I, I missed the boat there <laughs> so i don't know but well, I, I never thought the hats would come out this nice on one of yeah. those i've seen other people with these yeah uh, but i never thought that they would come out as nice as these have actually come out like these are really Ooh. nice hats you know what i didn't tell you last night when when he was sleeping what? i was on youtube that i can crank out sweaters no well you probably <laughs> could but i'm not going there i I found out that you can make Christmas wreaths with the knitting machine and they look so cool and I'm just I'm so pumped and you can do the knitted bow and everything and I'm like oh okay got, and all it is is it's the tube right and you put it on the foam um the, the foam wreath okay right and then you tie oh it's so, so the thing cool. that we make into a hat you just put over a wreath frame pretty much okay. right and it's so cool so i can't wait to try that but out. there's a subtle difference in the crankage of the wreath as there is for <laughs> the actual hat listen to this guy he's like becoming an expert on knitting oh man madonna's not your friend anymore why is she she hates knitting oh you well. can't say the word knitting around oh. madonna oh, okay knitting <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so anyway <laughs> so yeah so there's a bunch of stuff like i found out too that you can make um the headbands but i have to get a 40 pin machine i think it is because otherwise if you do do it on this machine the 48 pin machine they come out too wide Oh, okay. So, yeah, and then I got to get the little machine to make the bows, and ugh, I'm going to end up spending stupid amounts of money on these machines. <laughs> so, but that's okay because if it gives him something to do and gives him, well, like, because he's just, he can't sit still. This is I going to be seen... a wintertime activity. I'm way too busy the rest of the year to be doing this. But I haven't it's... seen him sit down in one place in a calm manner ever. And this actually made him sit down, concentrate while he's watching football. Which is important. It would, yeah. And actually pr be productive. The question is, can I do it after football season's over? Oh, that's a, mm, we'll have to see. No, we're going <laughs> to, I'll be watching other shows tomorrow. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's something you can kind of do while you're watching TV. Yeah. Um, he he's, you know, he's and, good uh, at it too, right? Like he just he just sits there and motors. Like I sit there and I'm like this, and I have to take a break because my arm's gonna fall off. But he's got such muscular arms that you know, like look at this, you know, like he's he actually can. Yeah. 
<laughs> he can actually do this. And it's as big like as my nothing. head. Look. <laughs> He looked like the Arm and was Arm and Hammer guy or Mr. The, Clean. Mr. Clean guy. Well, I, I'm mm. getting close, oh, you know. Hey, look, I'm starting to get one too. I'm getting close on the Mr. Ooh. Clean. Oh, look at this! I'm actually getting a muscle. <laughs> from, that's from a little bit of cranking that she did. So, uh, anyways, so as long as he's having fun doing it and giving him something to do, I'm all for it. I miss. It's not necessarily that i need something to do i just feel like i'm it's good that i'm helping sandy it's easy for me to say let's do 10 craft fairs but yeah. she's got to make the stuff so this way it's it's a use of time that normally i would just be sitting watching tv and looking at the computer or facebook and kind of wasting my time i can do something constructive during that time but i've always been telling you to get a hobby Right, because all he I had does... a hobby. It was called Dragon Boat, but we're not yeah, allowed to see, do that anymore. Yeah, see, and that's the thing. It's like we can't Dragon Boat anymore. We well, can't bowl anymore. To be determined. So. Well, we'll see how what happens. But um, so he's floundering, right? He goes to work. He comes home. He goes dash door dashing. He comes home. Like he's just work, 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 work all the time, and he doesn't know how to sit and relax and just be, just be. Right with himself. Like yarn I be? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> but this is giving him something that he can hone in on. And the fact that it's actually yarn related just tickles me to no end. And I'm just so proud of him. Like he just did such a good job. And he because usually he strong arms everything and he just he gets frustrated and he just I'll make it work. You know, and he didn't, he, he kind of did a little bit. square pegs always go in the round holes. Huh, yeah. Um, but he actually, he started listening to me and he relaxed a little bit. And you could totally see it, you know, when he's sitting there cranking and he's relaxed and he's enjoying it, you know, and I, there's nothing else more to say. Except I love you. Oh, thank you. And that it, I'm so happy that you are doing this because it, it does. It 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 takes us to a new level of our relationship. Oh my God! Right? It, it does. It it does. It takes us to a new level of our relationship where you can now start to understand where I'm coming so from with my crochet. Canceling the counseling then. <laughs> 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 anyway so we just wanted to share that with you guys and um well he wanted to share it with you guys <laughs> and i you know i'm just gonna i'm gonna support him in any way i can to do this and i can't believe he's got his own yarn stash <laughs> oh my just... god I'm going to hell <laughs> This is awesome. I'm going to have to get a picture of him with all his yarn around him. Because <laughs> I told him, him and his football buddy, he's always bugging his football buddy because his football buddy he, cooks all dinner the all the time. For everybody. Right? And he's always going, you know, you got to cash in your man card and all this, right? And so he's talking to his buddy last night and he's like, I'm starting to knit, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, I, and I said, that's it. You cannot bug him anymore <laughs> because now you are doing something that's girly too. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> so he, he kind of slipped his man card there just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but, you know, I am, I'm, he just, he did a really good job. Like, look at this. It's so pretty. I just, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happy. So, hey, leave a comment down below. Tell us if your husband does any crochet or knitting or any yarny related stuff. I know that there was one comment on uh, one of our posts where they said, what did she say? She said her husband, there was a competition. She was hoping that there was going to be a She was a hoping that he would see me, what, what I did mm -hmm. and that it would... Uh, 
would spur the competitive aspect that yeah. he could prove that he could do it too. Or yeah. <laughs> See, guys don't think like that. We're not competitive. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so leave a comment down below. Does your spouse do what you do? Or does he kind of look at you and go, that's nice, dear. <laughs> so, like he's been doing. And Sandy's going to do start doing what I do. So she'll be down in the weight room with me in the morning. <laughs> Cranking out some squats, no, and deadlifts. No, uh -uh. no, not happening. All right. No, this is a one-way street, sweetheart. <laughs> we have a 50-50 relationship. <laughs> I make the money, she spends it, right? He keeps it's saying 50, that, and it's 50, so 50. not true. <laughs> well, it's sort of true, but it's not all true. <laughs> Anyways, okay, guys, so thanks for joining us, and... Um, Anything else? No, we'll show you. So Sandy will show you some hats along the way as we go. And, yeah. you know, I'm just going to try to crank out as many as I can over the winter months when I'm not super busy with work yeah. and uh, build up the stock so that because I will have no time in the summer when I get really busy. And the next thing you know, it's yeah. like craft fair season. So yeah. if we can do it now, you know, it gets dark early. The lights are going to get cold. We'll be able to make hats and get ready for next year. There's so. George in his little sweatshop by the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my kerchief and mama in her cap or whatever. <laughs> Settle down for the long winter's nap. <laughs> okay, guys. So thanks for joining us. And I guess we'll talk to you in our next video. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. bye.